Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. In this um, video, I'm going to go through question number one, which is from the January 2021 P1, Pure Mathematics P1, International A Level Pearson at Excel Examining Board. And this question, the first question on this paper is here about differentiation. I will uh, have a link to this paper in the description of the playlist. I'll also have, um, of course, um, a link to the playlist in the description of this video. And all the other questions I answer from this video, you'll find them collected together once I've done them in that playlist. Okay, so first of all, let's start off with question number one. We're told here that a curve has equation y equals 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3 over 2x plus 7, and x must be greater than 0, of course, otherwise it will be undefined. Find in its simplest form dy dx. So first of all, I have to make sure that it's ready to be differentiated. It's ready for me to find dy dx. dy dx means to differentiate the function to find its gradient function. So I can see that one of the terms here will have to be modified for me to differentiate it. And that's because x is in the denominator. It must be in the numerator. So I'm going to write this as, whoops, that's the wrong pen. I've got there. What happened there? Okay, I'm going to write this as, y equals 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus now this is like 3 over 2 it's actually like 3 over 2 times 1 over x that's 3 over 2x and the 1 over x is like x to the power of minus 1 it's like we learned a to the power of minus m is equal to 1 over a to the power of m the law of indices so vice versa also works okay 1 over x is x to the power of minus 1. So I can write this as minus 3 over 2, x to the power of minus 1. And then I've got my plus 7. So now it's ready to be differentiated. Now when I differentiate a function like this, I have to just multiply by the power and then take one from the power. So multiply the coefficient by the power of 3 gives me 6x squared. Take one from the power. Multiply by the power first, so it's minus 10. x to the power of 1, I don't have to write 1 here because x on its own means, x actually means x to the power of 1. I don't have to write the 1 there. And then minus 1 times minus 3 over 2 gives me plus 3 over 2. And then I have to take 1 from the power, so that gives me to the power of minus 2. And the constant term, well, it just becomes 0. If I try to differentiate a constant, it gives me 0. Okay, so anytime you have a constant, you just drop it when you differentiate it. And there we have the the differential or the gradient function what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it in a this this is also this is correct as my answer I can leave my answer like that and get the full three marks but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it with the x term in the denominator in the end for this term because what's going to happen is this is going to help us when you want to substitute values in so this is 3 over 2 x squared this is like 3 over 2 times 1 over x squared which is 3 over 2 x squared and there we have the differential function we have differentiated the function and that is now called the gradient function now part b of the question says the point p lies on um, the curve and has coordinate x coordinate a half so p is on the curve so p is a point on the curve and the x coordinate of p is a half we don't know what the y coordinate of p is right now but we can find it if we have to um, which we do have to find it. So let's just find it. The y coordinate of p is going to be when x equals a half, when x equals a half. So we can substitute that back into the original equation, which is this equation here. So I'll take it in this form. So you've got y equals 2x cubed, y equals 2x cubed, so 2 times a half cubed, and you're going to have minus 5x squared, so minus 5 times a half squared, and you're going to have uh, minus 3 over 2x. So minus 3 over 2 times a half and plus 7. Was it plus 7? Yes, it was plus 7. Okay, so we substitute the value of x equals a half into the original equation. That will tell me the y coordinate of p. So that's 2 over 8 because a, cubed, uh, a half cubed is, a quarter, is 1 over 8 minus 5 over 4 because a half squared is a quarter. And 2 times a half is 1, so that will give me minus 3 and plus 7. So you got y equals, okay, this is 1 quarter minus 5 over 4, which is going to give me uh, 1 minus 5, which is um, minus 4 over 4, minus 3 plus 7, 
which gives me minus 1 minus 3 plus 7 which is 7 minus 4 which is 3 so the coordinates of P are a half for the X coordinate and 3 for the Y coordinate okay now we want to find the equation of the normal to the curve at P so the equation of the normal okay um, the gradient of the normal. so first of all the equation of a normal a normal is a straight line okay so if the if you have a curve just say you have a curve that looks like this and say we got the tangent to the curve at this point looks like this the normal to the curve will have a tangent which is perpendicular to has a gradient which is perpendicular to the tangent okay so if this is the gradient of the norm of the tangent then this will be the gradient of the normal perpendicular to it so if we find the gradient of the tangent the gradient of the tangent is found by finding dy dx for that point when x equals a half so we got to take our equation for the, the gradient function which is 6x squared um, minus 10x plus 3 over 2x squared just make sure I've written down correctly 6x squared minus 10x plus 3 over 2x squared so I can put x equals a half in there and that would be the gradient of the tangent to the curve so it's 6 times a half squared minus 10 times a half plus 3 over 2 times a half squared so this gives me 6 times a quarter which is um, 6 over 4 which is 3 over 2 minus 10 times a half which is 5 and this is 3 over um, that's going to be let me just write this out plus 3 over 2 over 4 through so 3 over a half right 3 over that's going to be 2 over a quarter which is a half so 3 over a half that gives you 6 so you have 3 over 2 minus 5 plus 6 so that gives you 6 minus 5 which is 1 1 plus 3 over 2 which is going to be 5 over 2 okay so we can see that the gradient of the tangent to the curve is 5 over 2 therefore the gradient of the normal which is perpendicular to the tangent is going to be the negative reciprocal so you change its sign and you put turn it upside down that's the gradient of the normal the gradient of the tangent and the normal the product will be minus 1 because they're perpendicular so now I have what I need to find the equation of the normal to find the equation of the normal I need the gradient of the normal which is minus 2 fifths I need the point that's on the on the line which is a half and third so this point is on the curve and it's also on the normal to the curve and the gradient of the normal to the curve is minus two fifths okay so of course I've not drawn this correctly because I just drew anything random actually it would be the other way around the, the normal would be this way and the tangent would be that way okay anyway um, we can find the equation of the graph uh, of, of the normal in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero so a b and c must all be integers so what I can do is I like to use this form of the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 so we have y minus the y value of the point p is 3 equals m which is minus 2 fifths times x minus the x value which is a half so what I'll do first is I'll get rid of this fraction I'll multiply everything by 5 so I have 5y minus 15 equals minus 2x and then minus 2 times minus a half is plus 1 okay I've already got rid of the 5 you see I multiplied by 5 okay so that's why the 5 is gone let me just do this in two steps otherwise some people might get confused here I'll just do this in two steps so I have 5y minus 15 and I'm left here with minus 2 times x minus a half which gives me 5y minus 15 which equals minus 2x plus 1 and we want to leave it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 I like to gather together the x term on the side where it's positive so what I'll do now I'll just write the answer here it's going to be 2x plus 5y minus 16 equals 0 so there's your final answer I've got x y and z on one side of the equation all of them are integer coefficients not z x y and the constant on one side of the equation all of them have integer co coefficients and um, I like to put the x term on the side where it's going to be positive so 2x plus 5y minus 16 equals 0 and there we have the equation of the normal to the curve at the point P where um, you know basically we had to first have the we, part A was differentiating the function so you understand that when you differentiate something you get its gradient function so we can find the gradient when x equals a half that's the gradient of the 
tangent when x equals a half we need the gradient of the normal which is the negative reciprocal so we've got that and we also need a point on the line so we used x equals a half to put in the original equation to find the y coordinate of the point on the line which was three so we have now the point on the line and the equation of the normal the gradient of the normal and then we can find the equation of the normal so that's the answer to question number one from this paper and the other questions as i said will be in the playlist which you can find over here other questions from this topic so other questions from this paper january 2021 in this playlist other questions from this topic of differentiation from p1 you'll find in the uh, playlist um that's gonna appear here you'll have the link to subscribe to the channel from this point here and you can go to another p1 paper you might want to watch from the link at the top um thank you for watching and see you soon